passing around, blow the whistle. Turns into a run now. Ah, 
Make sure you guys are moving now. Move on the line. Play inside the cone. Don't play on the outside. Play inside. Play, play. Guys, play, 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 play. Good. Yeah. 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 Switch again, Florida is best again. Switch the people in the middle right away. Back to back. Change the back. Hey, switch the people in the middle as you switch on your pass and switch the people in the middle. Don't throw my pen on GD. Already? Back to the right side. Ready? Back to the right. Harder. Harder. Yes. Outside. 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 Outside.
Once you guys get it, he's going to add an extra ball to increase his speed a little bit. He wants to end it with four soccer balls at the same time. Make sure you put a name on it as you make the pass. Put a name on it. Yes. Here we go. Communication. Put it. Call the name. Make sure your heads is heads up. Got to communicate a little bit more, guys. Communicate a little. Guys, be aware every single time. Hey, he wants you guys to get your head up and put a name on the next ball. We're going to go ahead and progress to the game. So he's going to do the passing to the run. Yeah. 
Pass you. Out of bounds. Switch. 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 So he's going to do the transition from the passing to the rondo. So reset it like we did on the passing. You guys got it? Yeah. So reset like we started on the passing exercise. Balance the line, right? So now when he blows a whistle, so we're going to transition to the rondo, okay? So the goal is he's doing everything technically, but he wants to transfer into your game. So everything you guys are doing here should transfer to the round there. Okay, play, play. Right. Just one ball, please. Can you, can you guys start calling the next person's name? Yeah, so when you're making the pass, if you don't know their name, find out. And, and just put a name on it as you make the pass. Here we go, let's go. A little bit more movement on the line so you guys are not standing still. Here we go. Start calling the name. Here we go. Get your head up a little bit. Call the name of the person you're passing to. Here we go. Yes. 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 That girl keeps going to the other side. One more time, Jack. Yes. Very good. Three balls. I transferred this at the front for the game. Okay? Okay. Rondo again. Rondo, so let's go. Same exercise. Back to the Rondo. Three players, Mark. Get the teams on the outside quickly. We're organizing within your teams, right? Ready? Two floaters in the middle. We'll get another one to go, Emily. Ready? Points defending. Ready? 
Keep it. 30 seconds left. Keep it. Don't lose it. So, in this exercise, what he's saying is everything he does technically, he wants to transfer to a game. You can make this very position by lining up with your back, back four, your center mids. And be more specific on position. So what he was looking for in the exercise for them to play the short and then play the long, attract the defenders on one side and then play to the weak side. So he was really calling as they were, they were playing, he wanted them to go short and then long. Depending on the level, you can go out, one touch outside players and then two touches inside so sometimes the position he puts on the players, if you're going to transfer the ball from, from to the weak side, you can go longer balls, you can put balls in the air a little bit. So from a technical perspective, you can change in so many different conditions. So, so this exercise is created to, to work on a specific build up here and then the, uh, zone two and then zone three to finish it. So they can't bypass the zones, they got to play through the zones. In the midfield there's going to be a lot more space in the midfield. See, see, if you guys win the ball here, you can take shots in the middle zone. You understand? That one? Yeah, you're going in that way. So if you win the ball back to you, you can take a shot from the middle zone. So in, in the lower zones, you guys on the lower zones, white, daily, hey, you guys on the lower zone, two touches there because you want to transfer the ball a little bit faster. And then, and then three touches in the middle. And then attacking players, you're free, unlimited. Matt, Matt, where's Matt at? Hey, Burro. Burrissimo. Gordo. He wants you to uh, be the ball. Beater. Five minutes, uh, he wants intensity for five. Do not leave your zones for the first part. So you're going to have to get open in a small space. Hey, goalkeeper, so as soon as, you, hey, as soon as the ball goes out of bounds, you're starting with you guys, okay? 
Hey, they can skip lines, right? So don't watch. Think about where you're moving again. So in this situation here, this is wrong. You want to make all the adjustment covering, right? So you can work on defensive organization. So you need all the time. It's a very intense small space game. So you need to really coach within within the space space awareness. So you want to create a overload numbers in the back here too. So get a ball there. So what you want to do is here encourage you to play with your goalie and penetrate without a pass. So 
making a pass to the goalie and then breaking behind the line. So, so if she pressures that, then there's weak side balls that we can also play. So now, so now one, one of you guys can join in the next zone. Got it? So that as the ball gets played to the next zone, one of you can join them. Got it? So in every zone now, one of you guys can join the next zone. Got it? He, he wants to manipulate a little bit now, provoke a little bit more overlap in the game. So more numbers, overloads. So now you need to organize if your team loses the ball and your outside back is making a run, who's covering? Involving your extra goalkeeper as a new Yes, yes. 
Expand a little bit more, um, and, and one of the biggest things he's pretty big on, uh, I want to point out was that in his training session, there's no players are sitting out. Okay, so he's even though he knew there's 20 kids coming in, 23 kids coming in, he wanted everyone to be a part of. It. So if that meant to go bigger numbers, that's that's what he's going to do. So I just finish it off. So he will do one more. It, 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 he doesn't have time, so he, he will do it one more time because he felt he got better a little bit towards the end with different uh, uh, conditions within the game. So, so he, he, he felt that they don't look up enough, so what he wants to do to manipulate that, to provoke that, now you guys got to play forward all the time. You can't play sideways. Com exceção das duas zagueiras, as duas zagueiras, todas as outras têm que tocar e passar a linha da bola. So everyone on the team, except for the two center backs, when you play the ball forward, you have to pass the line of the ball. You can't make the pass and stay on the same spot behind the ball. You have to pass the ball. So he's provoking a little bit more now, playing and penetrating without the ball. You can't play it backwards anymore. If the forward crosses the ball negative, you got to finish. Two minutes for finish, okay? You understand me? Great, free, free now, free, free goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free goes. Yeah, very good, yes. Yeah. Yeah, good, very good. Hey, 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 it's a limited zone, so you don't have to stay on the zone except for the center backs. So you guys can move in the zones, yeah? It's free game. There we go, so it's a free. You guys can move on, yeah? except for the center back. When you pass the ball forward, you must pass the line of the ball. Next ball. É, né? Só passar no setor, a lateral direita, ela não precisa ir lá para o outro lado, só dar o tapa e passar. Para estimular, é a Compactação alta, Então, as you make the pass, you gotta go beyond. More balls, more balls, man! Jack, Jack! Go, Summer. One minute. Yes, Summer. Summer. Nice. Very good, Emily. Emily. Emily, good. Concentration. Dynamic. Dynamic. Wait. Wait. Get the Jordan. Yes, Jordan. Yes, Jordan. Nice ball. Yes, Jordan. Yes, Jordan. Come here. 
Maria, por isso. Fala pra eles que esse trabalho é bom. Mas um das pessoas me perguntou lá como que isso a paixão do atleta pelo futebol. Um dos caras perguntou me hoje sobre como estimulou mais a paixão nos jogadores. E eu fiquei pensando, se o treinador é apaixonado pelo que faz, o jogador dele vai ser apaixonado pelo que faz. Ele estava refletindo sobre essa pergunta hoje, ele estava dizendo que se você é apaixonado como treinador, os jogadores vão ser apaixonados. Eu gosto de intensidade no treino, porque eu treino todo o exercício por mais simples que seja, você com intensidade, com, com uh, situações, você faz o jogo. Ele gosta muito de intensidade e dinâmica, ele faz tudo que ele faz no seu treino. Então, obviamente, eu encorajo todos vocês, tudo que você cria, todo exercício que você cria, tem que ser dinâmico. Tem N ideias, N criações que dá para você fazer. O There's importante like é você conseguir passar para o atleta qual o objetivo, o que você quer extrair dele do exercício. Esse exercício começou ruim, ele já melhorou, não o último, mas o, o, o primeiro de zona. E melhorou muito depois. Então, ele caiu na primeira e na última fase. Esse exercício começou bem, eles ficaram melhor. And then he conditioned them again, and then it went backwards again. Esse último exercício que eu já não quero que você tenha que fazer, eu quero estimular justamente uma movimentação e um espaço sempre ultrapassando, porque hoje eu acredito que você impacta alto se você tiver o time todo andando para frente ao mesmo tempo. He's a big believer now in high pressing a little bit, so the more you encourage your players to penetrate after their pass. Penetrate without the ball high. The ball is occupation of space. I don't have that player that I touch and I stay in the same spot. There's no more players in now in modern soccer that pass and stay in the same spot. Today I occupy the space of my teammate. The teammate occupies the space of the other. Then I work on the team. So essentially, it's a transition in space as you play the ball. Everyone occupies the space. 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 Everyone occupies the mas on the last, on the last piece. nós vamos estar sempre vulneráveis ao resultado, do, de como time. Né? Yeah, Mas se você tiver um planejamento, você consegue fazer o seu time melhorar. Cada plan, Paixão pelo que faz, você faz o indivíduo, o elemento teu do teu time melhorar cada time. O atleta vai ser sempre mais importante que o treinador. The the players always going to be more important than the the players going always going to be more important than the coach. Mas você faz que estimula ele a ser melhor. Cada dia se desafiar a ser melhor do que ele mesmo. And you challenge your players every day to become better than you. Tinha muitos outros exercícios lá para fazer. Foi o tempo curto. A minha língua, a minha dificuldade de poder passar a ideia melhor. I wish he could speak better English. Sort of transfer. Mas o que eu considero de mais importante para cada um deles é o conhecimento. We hope this will help you guys actually from a technical perspective because that's what what he preaches. Essa metodologia que a gente usa no Santos. That's the methodology of Santos. E que eu vejo trabalhando lá que é muito difícil. He sees every day within our academy. Mas a lá dá certo, não necessariamente. Você sabe, down in Brazil, Santos works. Eu acho que tem que pegar a metodologia do Santos, do Barcelona, do Chelsea, do Qualquer time que eles vejam muito importante e adaptar para a realidade. Eu acho que vocês devem pegar o que for Barcelona, Chelsea, Santos e pegar o que você pode trabalhar com o seu sistema. E eu sempre aprendo com cada um deles também, o mais simples possível. E, obviamente, eu sempre aprendo de todos. Obrigado, boa sorte para o futuro. Desculpe, mas eu sou você. I can, I can just say it. Don't worry. So, hey, uh, David Robertson asked me just to say a few words. Um, first off, thank you for being here. Uh, it's amazing when you look at NorCal, how it's grown. And it's very unique in this part of the country that we have opportunities like this. So. Last year we brought a group of 30 directors to Europe and all the Europeans wanted to be with us, listening to the lectures, watching the field session and getting information. Because even in Brazil, you probably don't have a chance for people to, to learn like this because they're out working at the same time. So thanks for taking your time. NorCal is gonna put a huge emphasis, as you know, into, into coaches' education even more. 
uh, by trying to regionalize uh, coaches' education and use the budget that's on a regional basis to help coaches get further education with licensing and provide as many opportunities like this as possible. We're also going to start a level one coaching course for ages 8 to 12 and uh, Region 6 will be hosting it starting next next week and all of you have uh, members of your club to attend it with the idea that the first round is to get the coaching director and the younger age director to learn and bring information back to implement into your own club so we can build a stronger base at the younger ages of players who are technical, like he worked on today, but also who can look and think and make decisions and play intelligent football. So that's the next step. So obviously it's two days of your lives. I'm sure if it was two more days, you would still be here. And that's the beauty of it. So um, without you supporting the league and, and um, and the resources to bring guys like Clayton in, but also all the other opportunities, it's not possible. So thanks a lot for attending. The last thing I want to say is this, just um, really, really, really try to think about the players first and what their needs are. We're all competitive, we all want to win, and a lot of directors all over the world, they say the biggest deterrent to youth development is the desire to win games. And the more we push for the result, and the more that we make it about us and making sure that we do what we have to do, whether it's not play players, keep them in positions, you know, play the strongest players more, or keep them in the back when they need to go develop in the midfield because it's going to win games, we develop the players less. And at, after age 12, it's almost too late. So please just look at the whole entire uh, player and what they need to develop. And the best ages is the golden age of learning and the younger ages. So don't worry about that other stuff. Rotate them in positions. Make them play on the ground. And, and look at each player and, and try to reach them like what he did today. If you look at the way he moved around to all the players and gave them attention and inspired them, to do their best in that specific situation. That's what we need to demand of our players, but in a positive way. So they can't wait to get out of the, the car and run to practice to be with us and to get infected with the game that we all love so much. So keep it up and, uh, and, and NorCal appreciates your effort because without you here, we wouldn't keep repeating these types of events. Okay, final thanks to San Juan for hosting and bringing uh, this uh, this great guy in, and and um, and of course to David Robertson who's not here but did all the organization along with John and and Kevin and Jesus and all, all the NorCal people, like obviously Matt and the rest of the San Juan guys have helped. But last thing we want to do, give this guy a big big hand from NorCal. And then we need two photos. Oh, I don't know.